Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I am pumped. I'm excited. So, oh, I've been hiding this secret from you guys for quite a while. Uh, I've been debating on buying something like this for a long time. And uh, yeah, I think, I think I just bought my dream boat. So we took, we had to take a little road trip. I actually found this thing on Facebook Marketplace, believe it or not, of all places. Found it on Facebook and it was in Missouri. So that was why we went on the road trip to visit Dutch up in Northeast Oklahoma. The owner, the previous owner, cause he doesn't own it anymore, um, drove down and met me at Dutch's place and we took it and tested it out and uh, we bought it. So I'll show you a little bit of footage when we went to go pick it up, um, Dutch film for me. We didn't film a whole lot there, but we got a little bit. However, today we're back. It's Friday afternoon. I'm filming this on Friday. The kids are uh, on their way home from school and hopefully, hopefully, we'll get this thing on the lake in a little while. There's a creek somewhere. We're gonna stick it somewhere. But before we get too far into this video, this is a sponsored video today, sponsored by Olight. So give me just a second to let me talk to you about Olight, what they are, what they've got going on. I've got a huge sale coming up, so give me just a second. Alrighty, as I said, today's video is sponsored by Olight. Guys, some of these videos take, takes a lot going into them. It takes money. We had to travel four hours to go um, pick up the boat while we were up there. We went and interviewed Kevin and stuff. So a lot of gas going and doing that kind of stuff to bring you these videos. So look, these little sponsorships help pay for that stuff. So like I said, we've partnered with Olight for a long time. It started with the uh, Olight S1R Baton. I, I bought it myself. They didn't send it to me in the beginning. Perfect little EDC flashlight that I carry all the time. I have this flashlight with me every day. I love to be able to put it on my hat and do stuff outside, get chores done thing is super bright so I love this thing but they're having a flash sale on the baton pro which is just a little bit bigger than the the little baton that I carry every day so here's the baton pro versus the normal baton so it's a little bit bigger got a lot bigger battery it's gonna be a little bit brighter like I said October 1st one day only they're having a flash sale on the baton pro I'm gonna read my notes because I can't remember all this stuff but October 1st only, Baton Pro Black, 30% off. It's normally $89.95. You can get it for $62.97. And they have a, several different kits. You can get a, um, a bundle or a dock kit. There's also a limited edition blue that's normally $99.95. You can get it for $69.96. Um, if you spend over $99, they're going to send you a, a free flashlight. If you spend over $159, they're going to send you a different flashlight that's a little bit bigger. So awesome company. We've partnered with Olight for a long time. They help, they've really helped the channel out over the last year or so. So go check them out. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. That is an affiliate code. So we make a little bit of money off the sales of these flashlights. But uh, I, I'm not kidding. You guys, these aren't just cheap throwaway flashlights. These are flashlights that are built to last a long time. And let me show you my favorite part about the Olight flashlights. So the only company I've ever seen come up with this. This is a rechargeable flashlight. So it has a rechargeable battery built in. Comes with a charger that plugs into a standard USB plug. You could unplug your iPhone cable and plug it into your iPhone box. But watch this. Bam. That's how it charges. It'll have a little light right here that comes on. If it's red, it's still charging. If it's green, it's ready to go. So I keep one beside my bed. Keep it beside my bed like that, just laying on my nightstand. And the charger right there, if I need it, I can just grab it and go if something's outside or if someone, you know, something's on the porch or something. But anyways, go check out Olight. I promise you, you will not be disappointed in the quality of their flashlights. Thanks, guys. Well, it's all dented up and scratched up now, Perfect Daniel. Land. Perfect land. Sure you gonna stay here? Yep, I'm gonna stay here. Scared of the water, huh? I'm scared of the driver. Well. The operator. Probably, probably a good reason for that. That boat's awesome. I don't blame you. I'm pretty pumped. Whenever I come down, you gotta take it out. As long as it ain't like it ain't ten year. degrees outside. <laughs> hey, I'm Daniel's uh, cameraman for the day. My name's Dutch. Go check out Keeping It Dutch on YouTube. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I like it. Not quite as much as I like this. I don't Man, I'm ready to see how uh, bright. I want to see how bright them things are. Well, it's not gonna be here after dark. No. Four-hour drive home. Turn them on as you're going down the highway. 
My people are here, and there's extra. There's extra. Extra people. Ow! What's up? What y'all been doing? None. You got, you got, you got, uh, you got something on your face, bro. What is? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you got a dog on your face. I was in a parade. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a spirit leader. <laughs> All right, dude. So we may have a little bit of a surprise, and it's not just for you. As much as you like to think everything's just for you. Oh, let me guess. Is it? It's, um, it's 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 a gecko. It's an alligator. I it's, think I know what it is. It's a farfic nougat. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Hey, it's alpaca. We have our own cheerleader today. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's like like the TV show. Move that bus. To Houston. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't, look Don't be peeking. What do you think's in the barn? I don't know. Well, what could it be? Rilo. What Rilo. could it be? Huh. Rilo knows what it is. Woo! Well, yeah. Rilo knows what it is because she can see it. I know huh. what it is. I think I know what it is. Oh! Oh my God. It's boat fishing boat. <laughs> Let's go boat fishing tonight. What do you think? That's cool. awesome. You like that? I got it right. I thought I knew it was going to be Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Now, it says black magic bow fishing on it, but that'll all go away. It'll be on family bow fishing. Oh, my God. I love it. I love this thing. Look I like the seats. Motor it's giant. I just have one thing to say. This was all mom's idea. I had nothing to do with it. That's not entirely true. It's kind of true. Like this much true. So maybe one. you made the suggestion. I did the, all the work, the work, and then you get to have the fun with it, right? Mm, okay. You know, like when we said that about having kids, <laughs> it'd be fun, but I do all the work. Full. I've got 600 videos to prove that I do lots of fun stuff with the kids. Yeah, yeah. You're a fun parent. <laughs> I'm the real one. So yeah, we bought a 2016. Uh, tracker it's it's technically a, a bow fishing boat so it's got all the lights on there I've told you guys multiple times how much my wife and kids love bow fishing but the lights are removable they're all built on those rails they come off it's got a 40 horsepower mercury four-stroke tiller steer motor and uh, so it's a tracker 1760 model 2016 all aluminum welded hull there's no carpet there's no nothing to get messed up but I think this boat, yes, it's designed for bow fishing, but I think it'll be perfect for bow fishing, Ooh. catching frogs up in the creeks Ooh, really? at night, at all those lights. It'll be good for cat fishing, it'll be good for catching sand bass. Or dead battery, as usual, same problem we always have right in the middle of when you're talking. But anyways, as I was saying, we can use this for bow fishing, catching bullfrogs at night, Getting we can use it for uh, crappie fishing, bass fishing, just, just about anything, but it's small enough and it's got these shallow water pods on the back. This thing will go in just literally inches of water. It's small enough, it's built heavy enough that it can, it's, it's meant to go in shallow water. So Houston and I, I, I think Houston and I can do a lot of creek videos. We can go to the lakes and go up in the creeks, throw out traps, do all that cool stuff. And so we were, you know what I'm thinking we should call this boat? What? I already have a name for it. What? The Creek Monster. Oh. We'll call it the Creek Monster. What do you guys oh. think? Let us know. We were thinking of going fishing with one of my cousins. Today? Yeah. You want to yeah, go fishing? Tonight. You want to go to the lake today? Yeah, we were thinking of that today. All right. Just now. Just now. So we're going to do that maybe tonight. So, peace. Hey, Houston, what, did you uh, find a random kid at the boat ramp, or is that somebody you know? I know him. Who is that? He wasn't here his in the video is, yesterday. His name is Jason. 
name is Keaton. Keaton. Sots. Keaton Sots. All right. Keaton Sots. Get on the boat then. Let's see if we can get out of here. I got you two life jackets in there, boys. So change of plans, we didn't make it out yesterday evening with all the kids and everybody. That was kind of the plan, but they decided the football game was more important. I did bring the boat out by myself last night just to check out all the lights in the dark. I say by myself, I brought Bella. Couldn't go without Bella. What's doing, Bella? Hmm? You having fun? Are you ready to go home? You ready to go home, Bella? Huh? But uh, Houston wanted to get up bright and early this morning. Actually, he wanted to be here a lot earlier. It's uh, 7.40 and he was ready to go at like 6.30. I said, let me drink a cup of coffee. So we're here early this morning. Gonna see what we can do. Probably just gonna play around a little bit. Houston wanted to bring a couple minnow traps, so we'll go put some bread and some traps and see if we can catch a few little bait fish. And uh, maybe we'll catch the first fish in our new boat. What's that on the top of the water? A log. All right, Houston, get your traps, get your one. So let's put this guy out. Just, just drop it out there in the water, buddy. Kind of get, you know, over into the water. Quit trying, to, quit trying to drop it so close to the boat. We're gonna wrap the chain around this tree limb so we don't lose it, okay? I've been getting better at casting. Okay, so my dad has already caught one little crappie, but it was not big enough to keep. So we've been um, throwing and casting and casting, and then we've been talking about going trolling right now. Think you got anything in that minute trap, Houston? Oh, yeah. Think you caught some bluegill we can use as bait? Yep. Hey, whatever you do, don't drop the chain. All right, whatever you do, don't drop the chain. Pull it up. Let's see if you got anything in your trap. Uh, nothing. Nothing in that trap. No bait there, Houston. Hopefully we have something. Nothing either. Wait, yeah? Are we going to leave them out again? We need about 10 of those little bitty bluegill like that, Houston. One isn't going to do the trick. Uh, sure. This is my first time ever driving this. And this is the first time for me being on the boat. Dude, this is a big one. Oh, look at there, Houston. Come to the side. What do you got, buddy? I don't know. You don't know? Woo! Uh, you got a bass. I got a bass. Here. Bring it around here. Don't reel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't reel it up so far. Oh. Look at there. Can we keep it? What's the matter? I'm getting upset with you. You just caught your first bass in our new boat, and you're already mad at me? Yeah, because you're saying we can't even... Eat it. Well, we didn't come here to catch fish to eat. We just come here to play for a while. Have fun no, on our new boat. Not for me. <laughs> it's all about eating for you, huh? We Hang on, let me get him off the hook. Turn him loose. Let him go easy. Yeah. Say, so swim away, bass. Good job, buddy. Hey, knuckles. That's, that's how you revive them. Got another fit. What'd you get? <laughs> you got a bluegill. Blue Flip him up over here. A bluegill and another bluegill. Houston, 
That's a big one. That's a big bluegill, buddy. Um, oh. So what's kind of funny, though, is... Bluegill versus bluegill. So we had we caught a few fish in Houston's traps. Caught a few little bluegill in his traps. <laughs> and we were fishing with a live bluegill. And we caught another bluegill. And caught a bluegill. All right. Let's get him off here and let him go. Let him go, guys. See you later, little bluegill. All right, boys, sit down. I'm gonna surf. No. Oh. Oh. All right, well, we made it back to the house. I'm gonna call that a successful first trip out on the new boat. Um, we caught several fish that we didn't get on camera. Caught one crappie one largemouth bass one smallmouth bass and one big bluegill and uh, just had fun we were just playing cruising around letting houston drive the boat a little bit and anyways made it back to the house got to get all the batteries charged back up i did take it out last night by myself for a little while with me and bella and played with all the lights and everything um fall probably isn't the best time of the year to be trying to go bow fishing but next spring when those carp are all up spawning and everything we're gonna have a blast but i think this is a good all around multi-purpose boat we can use it for cat fishing crappie fishing bow fishing whatever we can go way up in the creeks and explore i told houston with that big deck on the front of there we could do some some overnight challenge you know like overnight survival challenges on the boat go out there and cook what we catch on the boat and stay the nights and i don't know do all kinds of stuff. i think we'll have a ton of different content ideas that we can do mostly probably next spring and summer but this is awesome i love it i don't I don't buy new. This was a used boat, but like I said earlier, it's a 2016 model. Uh, got a good price on it, and it's something that I think will hold up and last a long time. I mean, it's just it's just a big chunk of aluminum with a good mercury motor on the back of it. So I know I'm excited about it. We got to get the graphics. It says Black Magic Bow Fishing on there. We got to get that taken off. Maybe some maybe some custom graphics of our own. So what did you think of your first trip out in the new boat? Oh my gosh, it was amazing, and I blast. And a blast, huh? Yeah. So, do you think we'll have lots of videos in the future in your new boat? Mm hmm Yeah. So, you haven't yet, go down there, subscribe, and if you haven't just yet, ring the notification bell down there by the red button, too, and like it right here. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.